everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener here. Thanks for joining me for this quick episode. Hey, I'm gonna give you a close-up of my grapevine. So behind me are these beautiful black Spanish grapevines. And most people think that you can just plant a vine in the soil and then it grows and produces grapes. Not so much, uh, there's, there's a lot to it. But I'm gonna show you uh, the process from budding to flowering. And I don't have any yet, but eventually fruit set. So what I'm going to focus in on this is grapevines, uh, what I do to keep a healthy, healthy grapevine, and I'll show you the budding process and the flowering process that eventually leads to the fruit set. So uh, I have this black Spanish grapevine, I've got a few other grapevines, but it's the same general process regardless of what grapevine you have. And uh, let me get behind the camera and show you a very good close-up of what the budding process and the flowering lo looks like. Uh, from a bunch grapevine. Stay tuned. Let me get behind the camera and show you a close-up. So, so this is uh, the first part of uh, the grape process that I want to talk about. So, uh, here's a vine here. What you'll see here is a vine that goes all the way down the fence, and it's my main vine that comes off from the trunk there. Okay, but my point here is that most people don't realize. First of all, grapes do take. It takes about a vine to be about three to four years old before, typically, it's it's in the ground and sets fruit. So um, this vine here is a one-year-old vine. So grapes can only be produced from vines that are one year old. So this vine, for example, uh, will not produce grapes next year because it will be a two-year-old vine. I'm talking about this one. The uh, grapes from next year will come from this vine, which will grow out and will become the new one-year-old vine and set, it set its own shoots out, okay? It's kind of confusing, but I want to talk about the budding process. So what you'll see here, let me get a close-up of another one. So take a look here. Here's a node, okay, off of a branch. I hope it comes in relatively clear. That is what budding looks like. And then from each part, once the sugars come up from the roots, spring comes around, the plants start to bud. And then from the bud, they pop out like this, you see here, it pops out another vine and leaf and fruit and so forth, but this is referred to as budding. So all up and down this vine, you see that numerous places, um, uh, well, numerous vines budded out that led to these one-year-old vines here. Uh, there's a budding right there. Something came out of there and there's plenty of fruit. So that's the budding process. Now. Let me show you an example of, you'll see a lot of little kind of baby clusters there of grapes, but let me show you, this is actually the beginning of the flowering process. This is, they're actually little nodes or flowers. They're not actually grapes yet. They're just, they look like grapes, but they're not. But what happens is eventually they look like this, okay? And there's almost like, you see the little flowers that, little kind of, flowers that pop out of each grape. Let me see a better one here. And I apologize for the noise. Here's one. That's a good view. So you see all, it looks like a lot of fuzzy little things are popping out of these grapes here. That's the actual flowering process. And during the flowering process, it then moves from this stage. And most of, um, most grapes have uh, their hermaphroditic, which means they have both organs, male and female, to self-pollinate themselves, like this vine. Um, very little is done by the wind or insects and so forth with grapes. Most of it, they have uh, both organs to pollinate themselves. So from this stage, they will then go into uh, tiny fruit sets, okay? But this is the end of the flowering process. So it starts and looks like this in the flowering process, and then it eventually turns to looking like this, okay? So pretty cool stuff. And then from this, it will then turn into a fruit set. Each, each clump, each cluster will be pollinated and turn into grapes. And then obviously these, will, these are black Spanish grapes. They will get very dark and juicy. So uh, that's, that's how that works. But most people have never seen a close up of uh, uh, grapes that flower. Most people think these are baby grapes, but they're actually flowers that eventually, again, turn into that and then turn into fruit set. So um, I didn't want to make this a long drawn out episode, but I did want to show folks um, what fruit, uh, excuse me, flower set looks like. 
what budding looks like on a grapevine. And you know, to get to a point where that flowers, the temperature pretty much needs to be consistently between 60 and 80 degrees. And then your uh, flowers will start uh, pollinating each other. And that pollinating process you saw over here, which again looks like this, only takes like a day or two. And then quickly it goes into um, fruit. So kind of cool and just wanted everybody to get a close up. And there's a few others here. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, there's one right there. Kind of looks like fuzzy. There's another one right there. Okay. And again, that, that lasts a day or two and then quickly it goes over to uh, fruit. But you can see, you know, just here how many, just unbelievably how many, um, how much it's flowering and how many clusters I will have. Uh, here now the thing about grapes as most people know is that the energy of the plant you got to keep it somewhat thin down You got to make sure a lot of air flows through here but obviously uh, Through the Sun and leaves photosynthesis that drives the energy uh, To the plant so you got to make sure you have a good amount of foliage and you don't cut it all down So this is an example of a black Spanish grapevine. Let me show you my musket iron grapes real quick and uh, show you where they are with flowering so this grapevine is known as a muscadine grapevine, and it's behind the black Spanish grapevine. Uh, it produces grapes um, more for jams and jellies, very um, nutritious grape, full of antioxidants and all that great stuff. But this is what the plant looks like. But you see here, there's a flowering that exists. They don't really have large clusters. They have kind of a few here and then a few there. There's some there. And then I'll see if I can find some other. There's another kind of cluster right there. Um, but with these, um, you can see they're not quite where the other one is, but that is, it's already budded as you see. And then it will soon flower and send out those fuzzy looking things that will pollinate it and turn it to fruit. So uh, every grape is at a different, there's some more view of some more here. Every grape is at a different stage in the process of budding and flowering. But um, this is this and let me show you one more which is my concord grape uh, and that actually has gone through the flowering and it just set fruit so that's the last stage that i talked about earlier hold tight so this is my concord grapevine concord grapes as you know are used for jelly very sweet grape excellent grape but this grape just went through that process of flowering and self-pollinating each other so and some of them you can see are still going through a little bit but again, it takes a day or two, it's that quick. And uh, let me show you what it looks like after it self-pollinates itself. Take a look there. So what you're looking there is a little cluster of fruit set. So this is the beginning of fruit set. You'll see this one here. It's a little grape that's starting. It's a little, little plump. Try to get a little bit of a close up. But uh, this is the after stages of that process where it buds and then the flowers are pollinated. And then they lead to little grapes. So all of these here on here have been through that, and you'll see little grapes are starting to form. There's a better view up here. Here's another one. You see they're getting a little bit of size to them, and um, so they've been through the pollination process. Like I said, they're hermaphroditic, so they have both organs to be able to produce. Uh, just like the other one, the energy comes from the leaves. You'll see I've thinned this one out pretty good because you want a lot of airflow through here. And, uh, but still enough leaves to drive energy uh, to get fruit set. So again, uh, as you'll see there, there's some, another view. The fruit set has started on this one here. And that's because uh, the pollination that took place, it was only a day or two, like I said, but it goes quick. So I hope this is a good close-up. Most of you don't probably get a very good close-up of grapes and what they look like at the beginning stage of the process. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on growing grapes in the beginning process of growing grapes. I'll do another episode once the fruit set starts to set in with all the grape plants and uh, the grapes are of some substance to take a look at. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have not subscribed to the Executive Gardener channel, please do. Love to have you as part of this community. Hope everybody has a great one. Bye-bye.